What's up, Facebook? Eugene here. Hope you're all well. Uh, Thursday night, Civet has arrived. Uh, purchased this on Monday. Three days later, it's already here. Super fast delivery. Awesome. Um, New Year's Eve, this was launched. So December 31st, and I took the wife and the kids out. We did some mini putt golfing and uh, had dinner. And we came home before midnight and they were here watching TV and just playing with the dog while I was scrolling through my Facebook and uh, all over my feed is all I could see was zoologist civet, civet, civet. Um, it was just everywhere and uh, you know after a couple days of getting bombarded with civet I, um, I, I, I took the plunge. So this is my third bottle from this house and uh, what I love about this is just how outrageous and weird some of these things are and uh, they're just not for everybody. Um, the civet as a note I, I do like. I actually like it a lot. Um, maybe more than I should because um, I do tend to wear civet out to work. Um, packaging here. Zoologist logo. I like to show packaging. Um, so leather oud has civet in it which I really like. Um, absolute pour le soir. Civet isn't really listed as a note, but I mean, I do get that pissy vibe that, you know, kind of that homeless guy that's urinated on himself and uh, that sort of thing. Kuros has civet in it. I have a bottle of Kuros. I think I liked it a little bit more when I first got it. Now I find it a little bit too harsh and uh, synthetic for me. But I do like the um, the honey civet vibe that it has. Okay, it looks like the packaging has changed a little bit. It used to be a, a pull out, and now it's just a, it's a magnetic uh, flip open thingy here. Okay, so here's Swallowgist so Civet. Beautiful packaging as always. There is the cat. So, okay, first impressions of Civet. I have no idea what to expect. Um, my wife kind of said when I came home, "Which, what is this one all about? And I just told her it's like cat pee and, you know, pooped out coffee beans. And she just kind of rolled her eyes and she's like, where does this guy come up with this stuff? So, here we go. I'm just going to spray some in the air here. Oh. This reminds me of something that Guerlain would create. Mm. It's musky and powdery right off the bat. A little bit of leather. Oh, it's so smooth and refined. Oh my God. It reminds me of something from Guerlain's Le Parisien's collection. Oh, a little bit green in here. Very interesting. It's it, I'm, I'm picking up some woodsiness and it is kind of pissy. It in a way it kind of reminds me of unwashed gold man, but that's got more of that you know unwashed penis thing going on. I don't really pick up penis in this. It is kind of pissy though, like golden. Uh, it's got golden hues of piss. It's not straight on P, but it is golden hued. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? It's it's completely strange and weird, and I I love it. It's amazing. Oh, it's getting really pissy now. It's like you know, like uh, let's say day old underwear kind of thing. I think there's some leather in here, like some really refined leather, some underbelly. There's some animal underbelly in here, like um, let's say the armpit of a you know a cat or a dog, or you know when your dog gets kind of musky or just kind of pissy. Yeah. Wow. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to compare it to Absolute Pour Le Soir, but it's very different. Anyway, first impressions. Uh, civet. Have you guys tried Civet? Let us know what you think. Um, 
Shelly Waddington, Victor, great job. I think uh, it's every time I try and use zoologist, it's like seems to be my favorite one. It started with rhino, it was my favorite. Then I tried bat, it was my favorite. Then I tried macaque and I tried nightingale at the same time. Macaque blew me away, gave me goosebumps. It was my favorite. And now, I don't know, I think I might like this a little bit better than macaque. Macaque. Uh, macaque and civet piss. Oh, wow. Victor, you're going to have something going on there with, um, you know, word phrases or word games. Anyway, um, first impressions, thanks for watching.